To create this simple chicken masterpiece, only a few ingredients are required. Starting with a couple of handfuls of grated aged cheddar and mozzarella mixed. Three to four rashes of streaky or strip bacon per portion and two to three slices of good quality salami per portion. In addition, you will of course need two large, plump, deboned, skinless chicken breasts. To prepare the fillet, start by removing the fillet from the breast. Continue by trimming any fat and leftover remnants of the skin from the breasts. Position the fillet at an angle with the longer rounded side furthest from your knife. Holding your knife parallel to the work surface, slice through the fillet from the shorter rounded edge, leaving about 10 millimeters or just less than a half inch intact on the longer round edge. Finish the cut by opening the breast and trimming a little further so that the fillet can open completely. Repeat this with the second breast. Place two to three slices of salami over the fold of each chicken breast. Follow this with a compressed handful of the shredded cheese. Fold the breasts closed and press them down lightly to compact the stuffing. At this stage, give the breasts a generous dose of salt and cracked black pepper. Using three to four strips of bacon, wrap each breast with a slight overlap on the edges and the ends of each strip of bacon until the entire breast is covered. The bacon must be wrapped firmly but not overly tight so as to squeeze out the filling. To cook the breasts, add two tablespoons of oil to your pan and heat this over medium heat to 180 Celsius. When you reach 180 Celsius, add a tablespoon of butter and mix this with the oil. The butter will help the chicken brown as it cooks. Add the chicken to the pan and fry this for three minutes per side, remembering that each breast has four sides, two flat sides and two edges. After the first three minutes, flip the chicken over to fry the second flat side. After the 
the second three minutes, turn the chicken onto its edge, using the rim of the pan to prop it up. After the third three minutes, flip the chicken once again onto the other edge and fry for a final three minutes. Serve the chicken immediately with the accompaniments of your choice and enjoy this magnificent creation. If you have any requests for recipes, don't forget to send them through to my email on ctpro at whatsforchild.com and I will try my best to accommodate these. Please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you again real soon.